Well, that was, I was reading uh, a book for one of my classes, Conflict Management, and <laughs> my son just ran, ran into the room, handed me my Bible, and ran out. So I just thought, uh, okay, let us open it up and see what we find. So I ended up turning to, this is the New King James Version, I ended up turning to Joel chapter 2, verse 14. Um, down down at the bottom it highlights um, Joel chapter 2 verse 28 and it shall come to pass and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy I, I believe that's spelled prophesy but it has a Y on the end anyway shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. So let's go ahead and just just read this real quick. We'll start at where I started. Verse 14, Joel chapter 2. Who knows if he will turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and nursing babies, nursing babes, let the bridegroom go out from his chamber, and the bride from her dressing room, let the priest who minister to the Lord weep between the porch and the altar, let them say, spare your people, O Lord, and do not give your heritage to reproach that the nations should rule over them why should they say among the peoples where is their god then the lord will be zealous for his land and pity his people the lord will answer and say to his people behold i will send you grain and new wine and oil and you will be satisfied by them i will no longer make you a reproach among the nations but I will remove far from you the northern army and will drive him away into a barren and desolate land with his face toward the eastern sea and his back toward the western sea. His stench will come up and his foul odor will rise because he has done monstrous things. Verse 21, Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done marvelous things. Do not be afraid, you beasts of the field, for the open pastures are springing up, and the tree bears its fruit. The fig tree and the vine yield their strength. Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God for he has given you the former rain faithfully and he will cause the rain to come down for you the former rain and the latter rain in the first month the threshing floors shall be full of wheat and the vats shall overflow with new wine and oil so I will restore to you the years that swarming locust has eaten the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust. My great army, which I sit among you, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. Verse 28, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit in all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants 
and on my maidservants I will pour out my spirit in those days. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance. As the Lord has said, among the remnant whom the Lord calls. Chapter 3, verse 1. For behold, in those days and at that time, when I bring back the captives of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Then I will enter into judgment with them there on account of my people my heritage Israel whom they have scattered among the nations they have also divided up my land they have cast lots for my people have given a buoy as payment is that a buoy no have given a boy as payment for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may drink Verse 4, chapter 3, Joel. Indeed, what have you to do with me, O Tyr and Sidon, and all the coast of Philistia? Will you retaliate against me? But if you retaliate against me swiftly and speedily, I will return your retaliation upon your own head, because you have taken my silver and my gold. I'm almost done here. and have carried into your temples my prized possessions. Also the people of Judah and the people of Jerusalem you have sold to the Greeks, that you may remove them far from their borders. Behold, I will raise them out of the place to which you have sold them, and will return your retaliation upon your own head. I will sell your sons and your daughters into the, into the hand of the people of Judah, and they will sell them to the Sibians, to a people far off, for the Lord has spoken. Proclaim this among the nations. Prepare for war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble and come, all you nations, and gather together all around. Cause your mighty ones to go, cause your mighty ones to go down there, O Lord. Let the nations be weakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will sit to judge all the surrounding nations. Put them in the sickle, for this harvest is ripe. Huh. You notice that, Joel chapter 3, verse 13. Put in the sickle. Okay, not put them in. Okay, good. Okay. Put in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. But that just makes me think of the hammer and the sickle. Anyway, continuing on. Come, go down, for the wine press is full, the vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near. In the valley of decision the sun and moon will grow dark and the stars will diminish their brightness the lord also will roar from zion and utter his voice from jerusalem the heavens and earth will shake but the lord will be a shelter for his people and the strength of the children of israel so you shall know that i am the lord your god dwelling in Zion on my holy mountain, then Jerusalem shall be holy, and no aliens shall ever pass through her again. And it will come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drip with new wine, the hills shall flow with milk, and all the brooks of Judah shall be flooded with water. A fountain shall flow from the house of the Lord, and water the valley of a cave. Achaeus, Achaeus, A C A C 
IAS. Verse 19, anyway, almost done. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom a desolate wilderness, because of violence against the people of Judah. For they have shed innocent blood in their land, but Judah shall abide forever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will acquit them of the guilt of bloodshed, whom I had not acquitted, for the Lord dwells in Zion. Okay. <laughs> got me to thinking about it. So I had a vision when I was a, I was a kid. I'm gonna have to play that next. I'm gonna have to put this with that vision. But I'll sum. No, I can't just summarize it up. I'll have to link it, or or I'll let in the description. I will show you where you can where you can listen to um, the vision I had that. When the sky was black, everything looked like it was burned up. Um, yeah, I saw it. It was, yeah. If you wanna, if you if you wanna listen to that, um, I'll put in the description where you can listen to that. But that was powerful. That was a good break from uh, reading some secular texts for my college classes. Got me to thinking. Wow, wow, what a what a thing to turn to and see amidst COVID 2020. You know. Wow. Okay. <laughs>